know, personalization in a classroom really looks at um, learning criteria and success criteria in terms of kids knowing what they're learning and why. Uh, Project-based learning is a huge piece of that personalization. Understanding how you put something together and take it apart and really how to critically think about issues and topics. How to have discourse as a student, whether you're a five-year-old in a preschool or whether you are a 15-year-old in a secondary school, being able to really make sure that you understand how students learn, what their interests are, and you create a variety of ways um, to really make learning uh, fun and engaging. You can do that through workstations in a classroom. You can do that through uh, intervention stations. You can do that through just the manner in which you teach by making sure that students really are the teachers in the classroom. Teachers today really are facilitators, facilitators for learning. Uh, and to really personalize learning, you have to really understand where students are. So data plays a really big part in that. And then once you know that data, then what's next? Really being able to talk about students as an individual by name, knowing who they are, knowing what they need, and being able to really wrap learning around that. It's a very uh, different future-ready type of approach about moving students forward. In Topeka Public Schools, as one example, we teach coding. It's a required class, and we started at preschool. In preschool, students are actually coding robots. That's really making sure that you understand how to help students to think critically, and when something doesn't work, how to figure out what went wrong and how to correct it. So learning today looks very different, but uh, in order to really help students be critical thinkers, you really have to personalize that experience so that they want to be there and they are ready to take it to the next level.